So life before, you know, when the kids were little was very different for us. Um, you know, financially speaking, like, you know, things were very difficult, very challenging, I guess you could say. He was the only one working. Um, I was a stay-at-home mom. We weren't sure what we were going to do, you know, where money was going to come from. It was very stressful, you know, very tough times at the time. I absolutely remember the first time we received something. Like she came up with these three huge bags, you know, of clothing with beautiful jackets and boots and shoes and you know, I think there was even snow pants or something, <laughs> which is great because, you know, they love playing in the snow. I think I cried because <laughs> it was just awesome. You know? So now that I'm a family advocate for Head Start, um, I get to work with the most vulnerable population, which is what we used to be. And so it's very fulfilling to be able to be partners with Cradles to Crayons, be the one on the other end of being able to kind of give back to Cradles to Crayons, to the families. So I get to do what I, you know, what I received. I remember when I lost my job, we I personally was thinking that, you know, kind of along the, the failure sort of thing, um, embarrassed to ask for help. But then once we did, the Cradle Scrams didn't make us feel bad about anything. Um, they were there to help. That's the whole purpose of it. So if you have it and you can help, please do. If you don't have it and you need it, ask for the help.